Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karwa and in this video I'm going to talk about some really really important things that I would like to tell you before you go and hit the exam hall. I know that net exam is just a week ahead and all of you are all set to rock this net exam. So before you go and give your 100%, let me give you some important uh, information which might prove beneficial when you are giving your paper when you're writing the paper so the first important thing that i would like to bring to your notice is that guys please keep your confidence boosted okay it is very important that during the exam preparation and also on the day of your exam you feel good about yourself you should always remember that you will do very very big in life it doesn't matter whether you performed according to your expectation in the past years or you have performed well in other academic field or non-academic field in the past year what matters is that please have a belief in yourself that you will surpass your own expectations this time you will definitely reach the goal you will be able to do something really big in life see confidence doesn't come from the fact that i will do good in this exam confidence comes when you think about your future life you think about the life you want to lead and you're able to imagine that life and you can see yourself going in that direction that is what gives you confidence so just close your eyes for five minutes and think about your dream think about the position that you would like to attain in this life and just see yourself moving in that direction and this net exam is just one milestone in this entire journey so if you look at the bigger picture you will definitely feel proud about yourself the next advice that i would like to give you is that you need to take care of your thinking pattern guys there are people who tell you that thinking positive or positive thinking helps you a lot and if you look at this thing scientifically you will feel that positive thinking actually charge up your body cells and they are able to perform in the best possible ability so you must remember this thing that always you have two options either you can perform out of the desire for gain or you can operate out of the fear of loss there are people who keep on questioning themselves that what if I forget everything? What if I am not able to complete the paper on time? Whatever I've studied does not come in the exam paper. All these questions show the mentality of people who are operating out of uh, fear of loss but there is another set of people who succeed way more than these people and these people operate out of the desire for gain. They will keep themselves positive they will boost their confidence by telling themselves that they will be able to complete the paper on time they will have questions in the paper which they know the answers for they will not forget anything when they sit down to write the exam and such positive affirmations build their confidence and help them to maximize their examination result so always remember this thing that in the last days of your exam preparation keep this thing in mind that you keep yourself positive also you can practice self affirmations i'm giving a link of a video which i used to listen to every day before i sat for my net exam so that i can rejuvenate myself i can feel confident about my abilities it is a very short video which will help you imagine the entire examination setting and will help you to think the best that you want to see yourself in on the day of your exam. So if you too believe in self-affirmation, you believe in positive thinking, you want to charge yourself, you want that your uh, mind should perform to the best of its ability on the day of your exam, then start practicing this self-affirmation every day before you hit the bed. So for the next seven days, make it a night routine that every day before going to sleep, you listen to this video and then you go to sleep so that every morning when you wake up, you are charged and you know that you will definitely clear the net exam this time. The next important tip is that after finishing paper one, Please don't start calculating your score, okay, because your performance in paper one will affect you mentally and will also affect the performance of paper two. Please don't demoralize yourself 
after finishing paper one that there you made a mistake and this is the wrong part and this you should have done more carefully all these thoughts will affect you emotionally and will definitely show the effect in the subsequent paper which is paper two so please don't let the performance of one paper affect the performance of second paper draw a line to your past what has been done has been done you cannot change once you do your paper one just keep that paper aside don't even look at it focus all your energy and time on the next challenge which is paper two i have seen this thing in many students that once they do paper one and in the meanwhile when paper two is coming they'll keep on looking at paper one and they'll keep on calculating their marks this will have a very demoralizing effect in your brain so it's better to keep paper one aside Focus all your attention, all your energy on paper two and just do your best what is there in front of you. So before I end this video, I would like to give you a very short tip which is very dear to my heart. And I keep on telling my students also that there is a force beyond you and me. And before you begin answering the question paper it is important that you devote one minute in remembering that force in evoking the presence of that force and asking that force to carry you through the exam paper and it is also important that you devote at least one minute uh, to pray and meditate before you start writing your paper so that the energy that flows in your body while you pray is able to help you to remain calm during your exam time. So I would always advise you to devote at least one minute to pray. Uh, those who are a part of my online course, they are aware of this thing that there's a section called prayer in my website in which I have uploaded a prayer by Mahatriya Ra, which is a one minute infinite prayer. Okay, it's just a one minute prayer and I make sure that all my students listen to that prayer first and then they start their studies for uh, the day. So the same way I'm also advising you that before you hit the books, before you start studying, before you sit down to give the exam, just Take one minute and pray to whichever God you believe in so that he is able to take you through the exam preparation and take you through the uh, those two hours of your exam. So with that note, I end my video. I wish you all the very best. I really wish that you are able to give your 100% and you are able to achieve your goals and your targets and you are able to clear net with flying colors. So with that note, I take your leave. Thank you so much. Happy learning. Keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I post videos every Saturday and every Sunday for UGC Net Aspirants. Apart from this, you can also go to my social media platforms and you can like my social media pages so that you are notified every time I post a GoNet quiz.